No, I was filling him. I was gonna film the seaweed, but then it's seeing him run on the seaweed. Never see this much seaweed in here. That's why I come here filming. Never in my life. It's getting worse every year, right? Very in the shore. Yeah, it's coming from Brazil. That's where it's coming from. Is it from Brazil? He's going in front of the Amazon. Oh. Okay. Amazon, all that farm fertilizer runoff, chopping down the forest. It's feeding the seaweed. And it just drift down through the Caribbean, you know? Yeah. And the more they chop that forest and burn it, and the more we're gonna get of it. If you go on the internet, there's a site, a marine biology site from Florida. You look that up and they got satellite pictures to show it. Mm. There's like a two million square mile patch out in front of uh, Brazil. Yeah. And it just going around in like a big circle. And they got these patches in there. And then it, I guess the currents and the wind and yeah. they bring it through the Caribbean. Well, I've never seen it like this in here. Yeah. I've seen it in here. And that bay, the next bay over there is yeah. full of it too. I've never seen it this much. This is definitely a record. I'll, I'll start documenting it. <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah, today is July 22nd, 2020. This is a record amount of Sargasso seaweed at Salt River Marina. Never seen this much ever. The whole bay is filling up. This is a gift from Brazil that keeps on coming. Salt River Bay, St. Croix, USVI. Sargasso seaweed filling it up. July 22nd, 2020. This shit stinks. Gotta be about three acre patch here. Plus the marina over there is all full of it. Never seen this much seaweed in here. Brazil, the gift that keeps on giving. Unbelievable. Columbus Landing, Salt River. July 22nd, 2020. Full of seaweed again. In the next two, three weeks, this whole bay is gonna turn coffee brown from all the seaweed and a lot more is coming. This is the gift from Brazil, cutting the rainforest down. All that fertilizer coming down our way. This is a DV hotel on the southeastern end of St. Croix. It was trashed out by Hurricane Maryland in 2017. And they've been renovating it for about two years. But this is what this shoreline gets. This seaweed, sargassum seaweed, 
He's on the shore like six to eight months a year. There's no beach left anymore. It's just nasty seaweed. It stinks like hell. And it goes all the way down there. About a mile down the coast. This hotel will never make it with this seaweed. It's coming from Brazil, man. Slash and burn, man. Chopping the rainforest down, dumping all their sewage in the ocean. It's making the seaweed grow. And we're getting this stuff every year now. Basically, it's thousands of tons coming in on the island. It's all over. This hotel's had some really bad luck. They've been mashed up by hurricanes and now they got to deal with the seaweed. And it stinks, you know, there's, there's no way tourists are going to stay here in a beachfront hotel when you got this. And it gets worse than this. A lot of it's piled up down there, but it shifts back and forth. Look at the color of the water. Coffee brown, man. Septic water, man. No way you're swimming in that. That's a restaurant pool area. Got really trashed out from the hurricane. Got about a seven, eight foot storm surge here. James, nice hotel, but I don't think they're ever going to make it. I can only tell you how what this stuff smells like, man. I mean, it stinks. Further down here, you get worse it gets. They need to rename this hotel. Oh, it's Sargassum by the Sea Hotel. Hey, look at that. Some of this is like three feet deep. It's been stewing here for months. And it just stinks. And there's just more and more coming in. Look at that nice colored water. Yeah. Man, more down here you get, the more nastier it gets. A 
by the way, it's uh, July 22nd, 2020. Oh my god, this shit stinks. This is fucking horrible. Yeah, this property valley here is just plummeted. Any house in this Turner Hole area that's on the shore is basically almost unlivable from the stench. You can just see by the look of that how long that's been there. Yeah, planet's showing its signs now. All this shit's probably coming from Brazil, all this plastic along with the seaweed. I noticed the more seaweed, the more, more plastic garbage that comes up. You know, they dump all that shit right in the fucking Amazon. And it drifts down through the Caribbean. Basically plaguing the whole Caribbean, you know, the Bahamas, the Keys, parts of southern Florida, the Gulf, Texas, Cancun, and pretty much every Caribbean island. These houses basically are unlivable. The stench is unbelievable. house down there that one with the green roof and the stairways unbelievable stench down there they're trying to dump that house for 1.2 million and look what you got in front some years that stays there for up to nine months of just nasty seaweed rotting turning the ocean brown I mean, just this one shoreline. You gotta have a thousand tons of seaweed here. And that stuff's, you know, it's all waterlogged. It's fucking heavy. These houses, nobody's living in them. The ones down here on the end. The ones up there don't get the stench. Now that's gotta be about three acres of seaweed right there, and it's thick. And it just piles in here. And it shifts back and forth, you know what? One week it'll be more down here, and then it goes down there by the hotel. Man better wake up, man. Polluting the hell out of the oceans. This is big time, you know. This is becoming every year now. I mean, these houses are like in the million dollar range, but not right now. I wouldn't give you 200 grand for it. Cause this could be a a regular thing for the next who knows how long and in the next two weeks when this starts to really rot the stench is unbelievable i mean it makes you gag it's that bad All these houses are boarded up. Nobody can live in here. Uh, this seaweed is devaluing. 
a lot of Caribbean property. I mean, they want 1.2 million for that house. <laughs> but look what you got in front. And it don't just stay here for a couple of weeks. Sometimes I could be there for eight months every year. calculate that it's got to be 2,000 tons of that stuff in there. this is basically unbelievable humans are fucking this planet over me and Brazil dumps like 60% of their sewage directly in the ocean. Then with all the slash and burn, all the farm runoff, fertilizer, it's just fertilizing this stuff, making it grow like crazy. I've lived here all my life, never seen anything like this. Never even seen this seaweed up until 2011. Yeah, bird, he's just walking on top of it. What do you mean? If you're a tourist coming to that hotel, you definitely don't want to be coming to that. You want to be coming to what's way out there. Two thousand twenty, breaking all kinds of records. Four feet deep. 